Hey, what's going on today? This is my 2015 Ford Fiesta ST out the window. And this is one of a two-part video review I want to do on this product, Race Gas Concentrate. So this is just going to be a talking, I'm going to talk about this product, the pros and cons, results I got on the dyno. And then the second part, which I'll do later, is going to be actually from the cockpit. You can see the results of this. You can watch my other video on 93 octane and then watch this uh, the next one coming up with the race gas concentrate in the tank and see the difference from the uh, odometer and speedometer. That'll be coming up hopefully later on uh, today or this week. I'll get to that video. But first, I just want to spend a few minutes and do a review of this product, race gas concentrate. So this is a uh, bottle of race fuel concentrate. It's race underscore gas dot com, if I remember the uh, website correctly. And uh, it's 30 bucks per 32 ounce can. And the simplest way to describe this product is it is a uh, quick way to get a high octane uh, content for your gas so that you can tune and get more timing and therefore get more horsepower. So it's a pretty cool product. Um, it's, it's real convenient if you're uh, someone that goes to the track and you don't wanna spend all the money on filling your tank up with $10 or $15 uh, a gallon race gas, actual race gas, we're talking 100 octane or more. So they have a blending chart on the back and it's real simple. This is a concentrate. They say that it's not an additive and it's not, it is concentrate. When you open it up and smell it, it's, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty strong stuff. And, uh, but you have this blending chart on the back and basically you just look at where your starting octane is right here in black. And then you, it shows you, hey, where do you wanna get? And it shows you how much to add. So my tuner, uh, Tune Plus, Adam Brunson in Texas, he, uh, he uses this stuff and, and recommended it, so I thought I'd try it. I'll talk about why in a minute. And his recommendation was one uh, 32 ounce can per tank, okay? So that's what I did. I've been trying this. I've run it for about 5,000 miles straight in my car. And I wanna talk to you about uh, the results, the pros and cons, and uh, help you maybe make a decision of whether or not this is what you wanna do. So first question is, um, <clears throat> why would you, uh, why would you do this? Um, in, in, uh, uh, so, you know, again, the idea is that you're putting a concentrate that will raise your octane so it can be tuned, uh, for more timing and, uh, therefore more power. There's kind of three options, um, to, if, at least for the Fiesta ST to, to do this once you've got all your hardware on. Option one is, uh, ethanol blend. Option two is water meth injection, and option three is race gas. There may be more, but from my research, that's what I'm finding. Uh, ethanol blend is great. It's cheap. You lose gas mileage, but it's cheap. The reason I'm not using an ethanol blend is it's not available where I live. Uh, option two is water meth injection. Uh, that is a great option. It keeps things cleaner in your engine. It's always there. You don't have to add. Um, but the reason I decide not to go with that is because the startup... Uh, cost for that it's going to be about eight hundred to a thousand dollars for a good meth kit. Running all the lines, uh, running a switch, uh, getting uh, hard charge pipes with a port for the meth, and just going through all that process was something I decided I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do. Plus, I don't want to lose my trunk by mounting. Uh, you know, I don't want to have to mount the meth in there, um, and uh, then I lose trunk space. So I decided not to go with that option just because of the cost and the work involved, and you know, not wanting to lose the trunk. So the third option is race gas, and this is a great option for someone that doesn't uh, have ethanol and doesn't uh, want to go the meth route, um, because you just pour it in your gas tank and switch tunes and, and you're done. And the reality is, I talked to my tuner and I've looked at dynos all over the internet, and the reality is you're going to get about the same output. Um, I've got a hybrid turbo on my Fiesta and X47. Those cars do typically around 270 on 93 octane. Um, I dynoed at 298 and 322 with the race gas, so that's a pretty big, it's about a 10% bump. And if you look online and talk to people with ethanol, they're doing about 300. If you talk to people uh, who've got meth injection plus 93 octane, they're doing about 300. So, and I talked to my tuner, Adam, and he also said, you know what, you get about the same timing with race gas, ethanol, water meth. It's all the same, it just depends on what product you use, but end result's gonna be about the same horsepower. So you just decide, which of those three options is best for you. So again, for me, those are the reasons I went with this. Here's a picture of my dyno. This was at top speed in Atlanta. Uh, I did this a couple months ago on a dyno jet, and uh, this is kind of ghetto, but this is the, um, the, the best uh, printout I could get. But this shows my curve, it's pretty healthy, and uh, it did 298 
and 322, which is pretty awesome for a 1.6 liter, 2,700 pound car. Um, at, to be honest, the power's really, it's really too much for the car. I'll talk about that in part two of this review, but it's nice in third and fourth gear, I will say that. I could have hit over 300, by the way. That's kind of the magic number for these cars. Um, but I've got a catted downpipe, so you, you lose five or 10 horsepower, which it's more important to me to have the cat than to have a couple extra horsepower. So I'm happy with that, 300-ish level. Uh, this product, 30 uh, gallons a tank, uh, $30 a tank, $30 per can. Uh, and uh, just a couple uh, other thoughts real quick here before we go to part two. There was no mile per gallon change. It stayed the same with this, so it didn't hurt miles per gallon efficiency. It did ruin my spark plugs pretty bad. Uh, Ford recommends a uh, 100,000 mile change on plugs. You can see these plugs look horrible. And that bronze tint will also be all over your exhaust pipes too. That's because of the race gas. So uh, Adam, my tuner, uh, recommended changing the plugs at 5,000 miles if I was using this stuff uh, frequently, which I decided to at the beginning. And the plugs look horrible. Uh, Ford recommends 100,000 miles. This is after 5,000 miles of race gas concentrate. And you can see what it did. So I just changed those out. A uh, little side note too, I, I was a little miffed with the fellows at Race Gas. They, uh, I did a review of their product on a forum and sent it to them and they said they'd send me some free swag. I like swag. Uh, Boomba sent me that for free. Uh, hey, shout to Boomba. They never sent it. I emailed them and said, hey, where's that stuff? Is it still coming? They're like, oh yeah, and that was like two months ago. So hey, if you say you're going to send somebody something, especially when they've bought like 12 cans of this stuff, um, you know, send it, send them a $10 beanie or whatever, you know, and uh, follow through. But Hey, other than that, no big deal. Um, you know, I, I, I look forward to a race gas hat. Guys, if you're watching or whatever you got, give me something. I'll advertise your product. I'll, I'll sell you. I'll sell it for you. Um, send me that swag. I like swag. Um, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is $30 per can. And uh, it's racegas.com. You can get it cheaper on Amazon because they have free shipping if you've got Amazon Prime. So that's the deal, guys. Race gas concentrate. It's in my car right now. I'm going to take a drive later, and hopefully I'll have time to film a uh, some from the cockpit driving with the concentrate and show you uh, what it does to the car. Uh, but in short, it, it turns the car from a beast into a, a monster beast. Uh, it's crazy what 30 more horsepower will do in this car. The X47 is already a fantastic option. Um, adding that extra little boost with the race gas concentrate really does um, just take it up a whole nother level. And uh, I'll show you what that's like in the next video. Thanks for watching.